It's been a minute, but there's been a lot of stuff going on behind the scenes. The time that I am the most excited for is upon us. We are going to start the 99 Pontiac Firebird rebuild slash LS swap. Uh, going on behind the scenes, I've purchased the vehicle as you may or may not have seen in a previous short. I've also purchased a donor vehicle. I picked up a 2004 Chevy Trailblazer with the LM4, which is the aluminum 5.3. It's similar to the LM7, but the LM7 is the iron block. So we have the aluminum 5.3 that's going in the Firebird. I've also purchased some tooling that I didn't have before, uh, namely the Harbor Freight two-ton engine hoist or cherry picker. I've picked up an engine stand and a low-profile jack, as well as a DeWalt impact wrench a torque wrench uh, and just some miscellaneous other tools that I kind of feel like I'm gonna need to do this build so without further ado let's go over this vehicle and I'll kind of show you what's wrong with it so first and foremost the paint on this thing is atrocious I mean, it's got a nice color as far as it's kind of a green to blue fade uh, but the clear coat is gone so we're gonna repaint it it'll be the first time I've ever repainted an entire car if you followed the channel for a while you know that I did a boat not too long ago and now I want to try my hand at doing a vehicle so here's the current engine it's just the 3800 3.8 v6 coming out now this engine has a knock in it so I think after we get that one out sometime down the road I want to pull that one apart and see why it's knocking uh, the interior on this thing's not too bad It's actually pretty clean it's got the t-top holders still which not all of these have the the door panels are cracked standard firebird stuff this all this stuff we're gonna fix it all center console seen better days big door crack over there but for the most part the interior is fairly clean. So my plans for this, uh, back up just a second, T-tops, oh yeah. Uh, so the plan for this build is obviously the swap. We're gonna take the V6, go to a V8. I think I'm gonna keep the 4L60E transmission. I'm going to keep it naturally aspirated for now and maybe for the entire time that I own this thing. Um, obviously, we want to do new wheels and tires. I would like to do these uh, side skirts. I like the Trans Am rear hatch better than the Firebird rear, rear hatch. But we'll have to see there. I want to do something different with the tail lights. Not a super fan of the honeycomb, uh, but we, we'll see. Um, what else? What else do we want to do? I think I want to do almost maybe do a ram air hood. I don't know. That's still up in the air. Now another thing that's up in the air, and I see a lot of people do this on their channels when they're doing a build is they name their build so do you think we should name this build or do you think we should just call it 
the 99 Pontiac Firebird build. The name that I would like to give this build is Black Widow, the Black Widow build. Only if you uh, know me or have been around the channel, you know that we enjoy black vehicles. Uh, this one's obviously green, but I want to paint it black. So we have in our family, we have a black Denali, a black Charger, a black Dart, now a black boat, and I would like to have a black Firebird. So tell me what you guys think in the comments. Should we name the build the Black Widow build or should we just go with whatever? Uh, but spoiler alert, this car will be black. Black on black is black as black can be. So with all that being said, I wanna strip this car down to nothing. I wanna pull the seats, the seat belts, the carpet. I wanna put sound deadening in it. We're gonna pull the engine, uh, everything. I just wanna pull this thing apart and rebuild it from the ground up. Try and do some performance stuff. Uh, lower control arms, upper control arms, tubular K member. We'll just have to see how all that goes. This was supposed to be a budget build, uh, but you know how that can go sometimes. I may just get the motor mounts and keep the K member in here, but it's all up in the air right now. I just have to kind of feel it out and see when I get there what we're gonna do. But anyway, Let's get to starting to take this thing apart. Okay guys, that's the transmission, and <laughs> what the hell is that hole? Seems to me like stuff would leak out of there, but I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of winging it, and there's been people in here before because 
I don't know if you can see that bolt. But that bolt's out of there. It's like super loose, and I know I didn't do that. I just happened to peek up in there and see it was like that. Let me know in the comments down below if anybody can tell me what that is. There you have it, guys. So we are making some headway on this, as you can see by the color of the oil and the condition of the radiator and that fill reservoir. This engine's got some problems. Hopefully, the transmission's good. I'm not sure what that hole is. If anybody in the comments can tell me, be much appreciated. We've got everything pretty much disconnected. Uh, and hopefully, next weekend, we can actually roll this drivetrain out from underneath this thing. Uh, but we'll have to see how it goes. So, stay tuned for more on this project. Don't forget to comment if you think we should name this project. Or just... Keep it as 99 Pontiac Firebird build or restoration or LS swap or whatever. I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. I'm getting super excited to keep going on this. Uh, right now, it's just the monotonous pull everything apart. But once we start putting things back together, I think it's going to be pretty cool. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Peace and I'm out.